Scamming is a horrible thing to do. Before we get into that though, subscribe, it's free and would really help out the channel. Mori Calliope tweeted, no schedule for several weeks, probably. Streaming when I feel like it. Glad to hear she's only going to be streaming whenever she wants to and not when others do. Do hope that she is getting rest that she does need and takes the appropriate amount of time off. The entire situation that's been going on has been horrible and I hope that Callie is doing better. Merit K tweeted, when every dude on the design committee gets to add their fetish onto the character model. And they were just making fun of this VTuber because this is their model, which while yes, it does seem like it has a lot of fetishes, it's still a good model. It has thigh high socks, striped socks, polka dots, midriff, little crotch tattoo, thighs, long hair, cat ears, horns, fox ears, and a fox tail. Honestly, it looks like a good model to me. I don't know the problem with it and the comments are not happy about it either. Fruit said, I mean joking or not, you just crapped on a smaller VTuber's design for no reason at all. At least credit them. This is so unnecessary and rude LMAO. Imagine if someone posted a picture of you and said you look like shit or something like that. Pretty cringe of you, especially because you're shitting on another woman who worked hard designing it. And yeah, the comments just are not happy and I don't understand why this person posted this. Did they just see this person on their timeline and were like, ill, anime VTuber cringe, L plus ratio? God, kill me. Yeah, I don't understand it, but hey, the model looks fine. And if you do want to know who the model belongs to, it belongs to this person. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm going to try my best. Lachesis. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but there's their Twitter. I'll leave it in the description for you to check it out. Yuzu tweeted, birthday moth. I can feel my bones creaking already. Happy birthday to them. I hope it has been an amazing day. Twitch tweeted out, it's set in motion. Animated emotes are now available for all affiliates and partners. Don't panic if you can't see them yet. They'll appear soon. Manual approval may take a little longer than usual for a short while too. Show us your upcoming emotes in the replies. Glad to hear that everyone can now use their animated emotes that they've all been waiting for. Fruit tweeted out eyeball and it looks like a very nice eyeball and I'm only going to assume that this is just more art that she's showing of hers. Then Treya tweeted still out due to bad internet hoping it gets fixed today or soon take another teaser and here is yet another teaser of her new project Zen and the more and more that we get of this project it just makes me want it even more and I cannot wait until she shows off this entire model. It just looks super cool. I want it already so Please then just just give us the whole thing. Jota tweeted, guys, it happened. 69 420 on Twitch. Congratulations to him. That's a nice number. Mr. Riaz tweeted, hey, if you're reading this, I hope your day is good. If not, I hope it gets a lot better. You got this. Thanks for the inspirational quote, Mista. And to those in the comments, I hope you're also having a good one. Please let me know how you're feeling today. Queen Nana tweeted, emergency model commissions open. Hi, I am reopening my model commissions due to a client scamming me and asking for refunds. So now I am preparing the amount in case I lose the case on PayPal. Please read the rules carefully. But they have now tweeted out, hi, I have written a Google Doc playing what happened between me and my client. They did not follow my TOS and accused me that I did not inform them about anything. Read the doc here. They said at Kiseki Shintaro on Twitter had accused me for not informing him that the model commission he has ordered for me is non-refundable when I clearly stated to him the agreement before he continued ordering and paying for this commission. I've attached below screenshots of our conversation, including the date on which he agreed on. On January 8th they had stated this perfectly to him saying since you cannot respond quickly I will need you to pay up front and guarantee your slot I've already reserved your slot so I need assurance that you will really want the commission there will be no refunds once you pay the upfront down payment because this guarantees your slot it will be $980 for half body if you want a full body model I will need your reference for the full body design of your character you can pay $2,080 in the rest later once I receive the full body reference of your character and so they had agreed upon on the upfront charge and they clearly stated that there were no refunds available. They had many chances to decline or back out on the commission, but still wanted to continue to be interested and ask more about when I start on the commission. I confirmed this to him on January 11th. Two days later, he paid for the invoice when again, he had the chance to decline this and back out on the commission if he cannot afford it from the start. On January 14th, we have already confirmed the commission and his slots. Everything has been paid out and settled. Five days later, and he emailed me canceling his commission and requesting for a refund when he had agreed on everything we had talked about including him being completely sure that he wants the slot and that there will be no more refunds after this. He kept insisting to me that I did not mention to him that his commission is non-refundable because it was not written on the form he filled in when inquiring for a commission. But before I confirmed his commission I told him the agreement we had that there will be no more refunds once he confirms he really wanted this slot and paid. He did not mention anything about this when he filed a dispute with me on PayPal. Here is his claim.
claim on the situation. Hello, so I am sending this in regard asking the seller for a refund, which they said they will not provide me. I would like this product canceled. However, the seller has one did not warn me the purchase was non-refundable as stated in the form attached in the invoice and to this message and now refuses to do so. Two, in addition to the official Google form I filled out as well attached also, there is no mention of non-refundable purchases. Three, claims there are fees that they will have to pay when the only fees are to that of one of the returning not to the seller. Four, has not started working on the product so it should be possible to refund something that technically does not exist yet. I just want a refund and as you can see in the attachment to the invoice there is no mention of the product to be non-refundable. They went on to show some screenshots of their response to PayPal and said it's not easy getting slots for VTuber model commissions that is why I need to guarantee you when clients want to order. The fee can range from $50 to $100 or more after I receive payment for my models which range from $900 to $3,000. When ordering this type of commission it's not just a simple change of mind. You need to make sure you are paying without losing your entire savings or ignoring your bills. This commission is not a necessity it's a luxury but for us artists this is for us to survive every day and pay our own bills. And that sentence right there is correct and what I try to preach constantly to people wanting to get into VTubing. Please make sure you are not spending your entire savings account on a model. Make sure your bills are paid. Make sure your necessities are out of the way before you do so because most of the time they are non-refundable and you can avoid a situation like this. And do not go straight away for a model that's going to cost you thousand or more dollars. There are other artists that have lower rates and once you're seeing that VTubing is actually working and you have the extra funds, then you can make the decision to get a model commissioned by someone with higher rates. So please make sure you're doing your due diligence and not charging back an artist, especially when they clearly stated to you via email that there are no refunds. Liliana from My Whole Old TV said, just wanted to properly thank every Tomato Sans VTuber friends and also My Whole Old TV for making this possible for Lily. To be honest, Lily never thought that Lily would go this far, let alone actually reach 100,000 subscribers. It has been a wonderful ride so far. Thank you for being a part of it. Huge congratulations on hitting 100,000 subscribers. That is a massive goal that has been reached for you. And I hope to see you grow to even further lengths. Thanks. Domo tweeted, welcome to the VTuber multiverse. And we have Ali on the Trash Taste podcast and Yagu on Kiara's podcast talk show thingy. We love to see this. Fruit tweet immortalizes your leak VTuber. This is pretty damn cute. That's all for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and all the love that we received on yesterday's video. Aside from that though, I will catch you tomorrow.